Hey there, this is Zurich Lakeside Stables and I'm going to show you guys my materials and my first bits made of tack because I recently got some other materials like ribbon and a glue gun which is so much easier than needle and thread. So yeah, um, let's start here with the fabrics I have which I can use to make blankets and all that kind of jazz. I have some velcro because before I use these other little things which I'll show you in a minute. I have this, which looks like the blankets, like the stable blankets they made. It came from like an old skirt, whatever. I don't know what it was. This black material, which could use, be used for like show blankets, show coolers. And this, it's quite a funny material, so I think I'll use it to make um, travel boots or bell boots or something like that. Or like, um, you know, like the towels, like the towel blankets they have for the horses. These are the boxes I keep. This is the box I keep my fabrics in. This is the box. Um, I have like all these little jam jars, like which I got from hotels and stuff. This is like all extra stuff which I don't want to lose because I don't have any space in there. And then in here, I have my scissors, my pencil to draw on the cloth, my pliers, my cutters, my tiny little scissors to cut like glue rests off, my crochet hooks to help make the tassels, my uh, white glue for wood. Hold on, wood, paper, uh, uh, carton, and all that kind of stuff. My lost, my lobster clasps. I now only have these chrome, but hopefully in the future I'll get like these proper silver ones to go with the chain I have. And then in here I have my my little jump rings, which um, these are the smallest I could find because slikes are so unbelievably small. Using bigger rings would be kind of pointless because they just look unproportional. And here I have like extra little bits from like an old set. I don't know. Because I used to make bracelets like these. I still wear them. I did this top, this metal one, this top one, I um, I got. So yeah, basically, yeah. This is where all these beads come from, basically. All these little things. See, like test tubes, like you have in the chemistry labs. And then these really cheap beads, but whatever, they do their work. And then I have here big beads, and then I have these little shiny beads. And they have these, like they're like, I don't know what they are. These come from a really nice bracelet and when I was on the trampoline once the bracelet popped and I spent hours looking for all the beads. And here I have some beads to make the Hollywood style Arabian holders. I only have one proper Arabian which I can make it for now, shamefully enough, but maybe one day I'll get a proper, a big one. And these are like keychain rings and that kind of stuff, stuff I don't want to lose. Uh, varnish from the eyes of the slikes and the noses. Bef um, before I used clear nail polish, but I saw that it tended to bubble, and yeah, that kind of scared me. So I got proper varnish and some glue to uh, make sure the tassels don't come undone at the knots, and um, some what's it called, a dilutant or whatever you want to call it. And then in here I have my ribbon. I only have um, some colors now, not many. Um, here we go. Yellow, like a goldy yellow, not very orange. I preferred having more orange because it's like the color of my channel for now. Brown, blue. I want to have a blue more like this, like a light sky blue. Green, and that's pretty much it. And then I have this here. This like came from a gift. It's all like wrinkled, but maybe I'll find a way to get it straight, like ironing, <laughs> ironing ribbons. That sounds kind of silly, but whatever. Um, here I have some metal wire. This is like off brass gold or something brass probably nickel nickel free this is all this is zero zero point no three zero point three millimeters and this is um i think one millimeters no what am i saying one millimeter i have no idea it's really thick i thought it would be suitable to make like all these like little um jump rings whatever and this is what i make uh, this is what i use to make tassels and yeah, that's my materials. Uh, let's move on to the tack here. Yay, tack. I just made these yesterday. This was my first one. Quite difficult it was, I have to admit. And the hot glue is hot. <laughs> it surprised me. I, uh, but it's more like candle wax, so I guess you could handle it. This is for my Arabian horse. I made a halter. I didn't want it to pop off and that kind of stuff. And this is, I just hooked this onto the bottom, which is clear or see-through. And these are my two blankets. This is a show blanket. And it has um, these things on. I glued this all on. These little claspy things. And then this is a, a barn rug or whatever you want to call it. It's for my friend and the Hanoverian Stalin. 
Uh, I'm probably giving that one away because it looks a lot like her horse, Rotspring Jr. I'll probably link her somewhere down there. She doesn't collect these, but her horse is really nice, and I think she earns. Um, she, she, her horse needs to be seen. He has a lot of talent. So yeah, this is my Arabian collar thing. I don't know what you really call them, but this was before made with um, needle and thread stuck together. And it didn't come on as straight as it is now. It's not perfect now, but at least it's better. I hot glued it on some ribbon, and it makes it a lot easier to put it on. And then, I think that is it. Well, I have this one. Wait, this one. I didn't show the brown one. This is for the Lipizzano. Yeah, I guess that's it. And then there I have, like, my mom's, like, a whole box full of stuff. But that's nothing important. This is, like, the main stuff I use. So, yeah, let's pan this once more. Hold on, let me go back a bit, because it's a lot. Cloths, boxes of Velcro, all the little hardware, beads, ribbon, and my tack. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my, like, whatever, not barn tour, but um, tour of materials. And maybe in the future I will um, sell. For, for now I think I'll make a site on Weebly's, whatever you want to call it. Just to show what I make, because I still need a lot of practice, because it's a lot harder than I thought. But yeah. Um, if you have any tips and tricks or you want to know something, then leave me a comment or message me or add me on Facebook. I don't know, whatever. I'll link it all down in the doobly-doo, crotch bar, whatever you want to call it. And see you next time. Bye.